Hey guys, uh, this is Ron here. I just want to say the very first thing that you should do after you go live, go to work naked. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Uh, Latin Peterson, good to see you. Ruby Ribbon Jen, good to see you. You guys are coming in faster. Lotus 2023 R3 Evolution join. Good to see you as well. Um, the first thing you should do after you go live, obviously, is start talking, but that's not the first thing. That's a little bit obvious because some people are going to watch the replay. DK, Al or also, thanks for coming on. R3 Evolution, uh, thanks for sharing. I really appreciate it. Naturally, Lamb joined. Hi from New Mexico, Lana Peterson, thanks for coming on. Gostin, Greg, thanks for being on there. Um, the first thing that you should do when you first go live, and of course you're using the tag drives and you're using hashtags and you're using great headlines and you're talking right away, so uh, NK, and good to see you on, so that people can um, see on the replay talking right away. See, naturally, how you doing today? First thing you should start doing is a lot of people are noticing in the early days when you get going, you're getting the first few people on, is not a lot of people comment on here. So it kind of seems like you're just like, you're talking at people and there's not a lot of comments. So what you need to do before that, planning your first go. Uh, great, great, glad to hear you're doing that. Um, may I suggest if you're not part of the Tag Tribes community, uh, look on Facebook under Tag Tribes and join our group. Uh, L-A-N-A Peterson 7, great, great. And see it, Sif, Wentus Morgan, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, Tag Tribes, there we go, R3 Evolution with Tag Tribes. Uh, I'll have to check out R3 Evolution's show. Um, maybe, actually I have checked out your show, you're the one exercising all the time, right? What is Tag Tribes? Sorry, new here, boom. Uh, maybe you guys can also comment and say what Tag Tribes is, but uh, hashtag Tag Tribes. Um, you want a daily workouts? Yep, I have been to yours, you got a lot of energy and you're doing a great job and I saw it. Uh, you had a lot of emojis and all that stuff in your uh, headlines, and I saw you doing the work out there and stuff. So yeah, you guys were having a blast there, and that was good to see with, with your guys' passion and stuff. So thank you guys for all the hearts. Um, uh, tag Tribes, real quick, is just hashtag Tag Tribes. Awesome community. You heard it right there from her. Uh, a lot of the people in here are from Tag Tribes using Tag Tribes. Uh, it's going to Twitter. They're using it in their periscopes. Most awesome community right there, Tag Tribes. Um, Yep, there you go. They're telling you what it is. You get on Facebook. We got a Facebook group now. The last few days, right? So they'll good. You're joining. So basically, my advice was the traction is created by actually um, saying hello to everybody. And um, I'll tell you, actually, part of the reason I kind of noticed this a little bit is another client that I work with. We we're helping them with their video platform, and we had just for the last few months not been using. We didn't even really know about Periscope. So we were getting anonymous people into this chat room to make it easier on people that came in. Uh, and they have anonymous numbers that are pre-populated. And as they came back every few days, we don't, it's anonymous, so we don't know who they are. We don't recognize the same names over and over. So you can't welcome people into the room if you don't know their name, it's just anonymous. And so then the chat, traction of the chat doesn't really get going because you can't communicate and talk to them. Gino 2043, good to see you. Is that actual Gino that I know or a different Gino? And so you can't actually talk to the people if you don't know their name. Like Gino right there, I know a Gino. I don't know if it's the Gino I know. But at least you have some kind of name to, to refer to these people. Even if it's Charlie 72, the people know you're talking to them and you're real. You're a real person. If some of these periscopes I get on, these people are just off doing something, but then they're not paying attention to the people that are on here. So. The number one thing that you want to do, and I did it on this one, and it got better traction than the last two I did, is you can't just wait for the comments. You can't just say a few things and be like, oh, I'm just waiting for the comments. Okay, well, nobody's commenting. I'm just going to start talking. I didn't know if hashtags did anything on Periscope. Um, hashtags, good question, good question. Um, let me explain it this way. Uh, good to see you from Illinois. Um, I told you before about my brother was born in uh, Champaign, Illinois. Hashtags on Periscope, here's why they matter. Um, when you click the tweet button on Periscope, it goes out to Twitter, and then the hashtags go on Twitter, and then that brings, it works a lot of different ways. It, it brings the people from Twitter into here that are the ones you identify with, but then when everyone in here shares with all of their friends, that also goes back all over Twitter to inbound marketing to get them back in. 
But it's not only that, when we get notified of all the Periscopes going live on all the people we're following that are part of hashtag Tag Tribes, in the title on Periscope, you're just like, oh my gosh, there's hundreds of people on here going live throughout the day and following all these people. So you filter them by seeing the hashtags in their title. And you're like, oh, that's a Tag Tribes person. I got to make sure I go on that particular broadcast because the hashtag is in the title on Periscope. Or you can just say hashtag business or whatever. It's just another way to for people to know the topic. So um, you want to definitely use the hashtags. The if you watch the replay, the one I just did, it was um, it just tells you how many favorites you get, and how many followers you get, and how many retweets you get, and how many lists you get put on by using the right hashtags. I Lotus thinks. Um, I am not somebody that likes to use 47 hashtags. Um, I like to keep it at three or less because Periscope automa or Periscope automatically puts one in, hashtag Periscope. And if you go to Topsy.com, you can already see 80 to 100,000 times a day it's being used right now. Um, if you're not on Twitter, I would highly recommend that you get on Twitter and connect your account with Twitter. A lot of the point of using Periscope is to use the live audience of Twitter and the hashtags to go live. Um, going back to the client that I'm working with, we had tremendous reach of tens of thousands of people on Facebook based on some of the posts I was doing. Finding out that a lot of people on Facebook see stuff two hours to 24 hours later, the people on Twitter are very live. They're just waiting around to jump on these broadcasts like the people here. So you definitely want to connect it to Twitter. I wouldn't even go another day without, if you want to build a Periscope following, if that's your end goal. So, um, so yeah, the hashtags are a big deal connecting with every single person as they join. I mean, I'm the kind of person, I'm sure everyone else is too, you would follow somebody for maybe days or weeks before you would even comment. Um, yep, Facebook is doing something like it now, it's called Mentions, it's only for celebrities, it hasn't actually, um, I haven't heard much about it since they announced it like a week ago, and I haven't heard of too many people doing it. So, um, a lot of it comes down to user interfaces still too. So, I mean, I'm not sure if it's gonna take off like Periscope. Periscope CEO was just did another one here a few hours ago. I haven't seen it yet. Um, also, he did one a couple days ago. They're up to 10 million users now, the 2 million daily users. The chart just goes straight up like that. And they have people using it 40, 40 years a day equivalent of all of us collectively. And there's articles from a month or two ago that showed 10 years. So that shows you how quickly it's growing right now. So, uh, so much take the assumption that everybody that comes into your chat, they're not all going to follow you and some of them who do follow you or come back to your chat, they may come back to your chat five or ten times before they comment for the very first time. That may just be how it works. So it's important to acknowledge them by saying thank you for joining, thank you for joining and oh I see you came on and thanks for sharing and all that kind of stuff. So you need to communicate with them way before the first comment ever comes in. And it may seem simple and it is simple, but it makes you seem like a real person. Plus, you have to you have to see it happen on your end um, to see how you feel and how you notice there's more of a connection there. And then not only is it really simple, it's one of those simple things that you do 50 times or you know 30 times per show, eight shows a day over the course of a month. Now you've done it like 5,000 times over the course of a month and it just builds traction and your followers just keep growing and growing and growing and eventually you get to the point like Mark Shaw and stuff where you just like there's so many people coming in so quickly it's so hard to say hi to everybody and Alex Pettit has a challenge as well so um, but it's a good challenge to have good problem to have so okay guys well I'm gonna do another one here real soon I'm gonna think of another headline another topic if you guys um, it would really help out a lot on all these future ones if you could come up with some answers to some, to some questions and, uh, or I'm sorry, I can come up with the answer to some questions. You guys come up with the new topics on. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks Ruby.